Okay gang, we're back with the top ways to waste a maths. Number one, it's simple. Use a channel as a triggered function generator. Patch a gate to the trigger input, then patch the channel output to a destination of your choice. This is a waste of a channel because as we'll see, once you're using the channel for a triggered function, you can no longer use this channel as a slew limiter for a sequence. That brings us to number two. Use a channel as a slew limiter for a sequence. This is a similar setup, but instead of cycling, we'll patch the sequence to the signal input and use the rise and fall to create glide for the sequence. Unfortunately, this too is a waste of a channel because the channel cannot now be used for triggered functions. The other channel can still be used for triggered functions though, right? Wrong. Well, okay, right. But it can't be used as both a triggered function generator and a slew limiter at the same time. Wasted. Okay, so at this point, I need to turn to some others for ideas. How can we waste a math channel in a productive way? The DPO is one of my favorite modules, personally. I love having two oscillators that can affect each other and doing modulation between them using the FM bus is just a wonderful and exciting thing to experiment with. So here I'm using VCO A to modulate VCO B and getting this interesting FM tone. VCO A can also go into LFO mode and give me slower modulation, which is really what I'm trying to get. I just hate pushing this button. <sighs> So, to fix that, I have to use my patch for maths. Channel 2, plug it in. Plug in the volt per octave input and turn it down. Incredible. Incredible. I could listen to this all day. Hi, I'm Jake, and I'd like to talk to you about one of my favorite functions of maths, and that's cycling. Before I start cycling, I patch out of the end of cycle from maths channel 4, and patch it into the trigger input. Alternatively, I could patch it into the cycling input, and that will give me a flashing LED up here at the top right. Oftentimes, I'll run the end of cycle into maths channel 2, and then molt it out of the sum output and the OR output for maximum cycling. Hey Jake. Whoa, what's that? There's a cycle button. That's a cycle button? What's that do? Oh. Do you ever have the problem that you have all maths? Why waste one channel when you can waste 10 maths? Introducing our new 10 module system, System Maths. 
So many great ways to waste mass channels. Looking over this list, I have to say, I actually think there may be no use of math that's not wasteful. So I'd be almost more interested in hearing about patches that don't use maths at all. Because if you think about it, using a maths doesn't just waste channels, it wastes entire universes. When you decide to patch a maths channel as an LFO, you split the universe in two, destroying all possible universes in which you did not patch maths as an LFO. And this is a binding decision. Think about it. Thanks to Meg, you no longer live in a universe in which a maths has never been used as the base for a flower arrangement. And you have no choice in the matter. We musicians are the creators and destroyers of universes. So patch responsibly. Thank you.